Hello, I'm Joe and welcome to Access A-List. Now, the 2015 VMA nominations were announced on Tuesday, hours after it was revealed Miley Cyrus will host this year's Video Music Awards ceremony. To celebrate the fact she'd be hosting, the Wrecking Ball singer tweeted this picture, displaying the message, MTV won't let me perform, so I'm hosting this year's VMAs. Now, as we all know, Miley has a colourful history at the awards, having caused worldwide controversy in 2013 with her raunchy and absurd performance with Robin Thicke, So this year's show, airing live on MTV on the 30th of August, is definitely one for your diary. In terms of nominations, Taylor Swift leads the pack with nine nods, all of which were unveiled through Apple's new Beats One digital radio station. For video of the year, she'll face off against Ed Sheeran, Beyonce, Mark Ronson with Bruno Mars and Kendrick Lamar. The nominees for the show's final category, Best Song of the Summer, will be revealed at a later date. Now, the TV Emmy nominations also came out this week with fantasy drama Game of Thrones notching up an astonishing 24 nominations. Sad news now as a man was found dead Sunday morning in a pool at Demi Moore's Beverly Hills home, the Los Angeles Police Department have said. The LA County Coroner's Office identified the man as Edna Nielsen Stephen Vale, 21, of Los Angeles. Police questioned five people in the home where a party had been held. Police officer Matthew Jones said, who threw the party? We do not know at this time. While Moore, who was not home at the time, issued a statement by her publicist saying she was in absolute shock. I was out of the country traveling to meet my daughters for a birthday celebration when I got the devastating news, she said. The loss of a child is an unthinkable tragedy and my heart goes out to this young man's family and friends. Our thoughts are of course with them too. Fans of Lebanese singer Nadra Karam have been getting very excited this week as the star released a video for her latest single, Good Night Kiss. The video was shot in Croatia and was directed by Fadi Haddad and in it we're treated to the stunning scenery of Dubrovnik which fans of Game of Thrones may recognise as being the setting for King's Landing. Despite only coming out a few days ago, the video is well on its way to one million views. Another week and of course another hip-hop beef and this time Philadelphia rapper Meek Mill has called out Drake on Twitter saying he doesn't write his own lyrics. He also stated that was the reason Drake didn't tweet to promote the release of Meek Mill's new album, Dreams Worth More Than Money. He went on to clarify that he wasn't talking about other rappers featured on the new release, such as J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar, but just Drizzy, who is featured on the track Rico. And Meek Mill claims the Toronto rapper didn't even write his verse for this track, and he would have removed it from the album had he known. Now, Drake is yet to reply, but we'll keep you posted as this one rumbles on. Lebanese superstar Alyssa has been posting pictures of her holiday in Turkey, where the singer has been away with family and friends. The star has certainly earned a rest after a busy touring schedule, especially during the Eid period. And fans can now also enjoy a making of documentary on her YouTube channel from the sellout show at the Palais des Congrès show in Paris. Her current album, Halle Hob, is out now and she's due to return for another series as a judge on NBC's X Factor Arabia early next year. Now, another star who's been enjoying himself is Daniel Radcliffe, who, not content with being a wizard, is now trying life as a rapper, as he performed a version of Eminem's The Real Slim Shady during a recent karaoke night at an Irish pub in California. To be fair to Dan, he nails every single line of the 2000 classic, while his girlfriend Erin Dark gets the crowd going. But this isn't Radcliffe's first moment of viral video hip-hop greatness. Oh no, in October, he stunned fans with an epic word-for-word rendition of Black Alicia's 1999 track Alphabet Aerobics on The Tonight Show. The actor also noted his appreciation for Eminem, saying, I think I was the first kid in my class to learn the words to the real Slim Shady. This is what he told host Jimmy Fallon as he explained his passion for memorising complicated, lyrically intricate and fast songs. Meanwhile, Radcliffe's acting schedule remains busy. He made a cameo in Amy Schumer and Judd Apatow's new comedy Trainwreck and will co-star as Igor in the upcoming Victor Frankenstein, a re-exploration of the epic horror tale which hits theatres on November 25th. Head over to Axis A-List on Twitter for the full clip of Dan's performance. James Bond fans were in for a massive treat this week as the first full-length trailer for the 24th 007 movie Spectre was released at 8am UK time on Wednesday. 
Spectre follows the release of Skyfall, the biggest Bond film of all time, which took $1.1 billion worldwide. And in the new movie, a cryptic message from Bond's past sends him on a trail to uncover a sinister organisation. While M battles political forces to keep the Secret Service alive, Bond peels back the layers of deceit to reveal the terrible truth behind Spectre. Now the movie's set for release in the UK on October 26th and in the US on November the 6th. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the show for an exclusive look at the brand new trailer. As always, we finish with films and here's this week's big releases. Now first up, in to be honest, what's a really good week for movies is Southpaw, a visceral boxing film that is about so much more than what happens in the ring. Jake Gyllenhaal plays Billy Hope, a champion boxer who faces professional and personal destruction when tragedy strikes. There's excellent support from Rachel McAdams as his wife, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson as his amoral promoter, and Forrest Whitaker as the down and out trainer who tries to get Billy back on his feet. It's a film about heartbreak and redemption and is our pick of the week. Inside Out is the brand new animated offering from Pixar and is the story of Riley, a happy 11 year old girl whose world turns upside down when she and her parents move to San Francisco. Riley's emotions, who are characters in the film, led by Joy, who's played by Amy Poehler, try to guide her through this difficult life changing event. However, the stress of the move brings Sadness, played by Phyllis Smith, to the forefront. Now when joy and sadness are inadvertently swept into the far reaches of Riley's mind, the only emotions left are anger, fear and disgust. It's essentially a kids film about dealing with emotional trauma and has had critics weeping in cinemas. Also well worth a watch. And finally Maggie is a unique take on the zombie movie about a small town farmer played by Arnold Schwarzenegger who will stop at nothing to save his daughter Abigail Breslin after she's infected with a virus that turns her into the undead. Now, if you're expecting Dawn of the Dead, then think again. But just like Southpaw, this is a tender story of the relationship between a man and his daughter. That's it from this week's Access A-List. And as always, for all the latest showbiz news from all over the globe, check out Levant.tv and follow us on Twitter at Access A-List. This week, as promised, is the brand new trailer for the new Bond movie, Spectre. It's in UK cinemas in October. I'm Joe. See you next time. It was me, James. The author of all your pain.